In this question, we're going to be looking at a Lewis diagram. Here it represents H2SE, and we're going to be deciding if the diagram is correct or incorrect. We're following exactly the same steps as we have for our previous skill, but now our diagrams will contain elements other than hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. So for this question, we've got hydrogen and SE, which is selenium. So let's just go and find those in our periodic table. So firstly, hydrogen. Hydrogen up in the top left. Hydrogen is in group one. That means it has one valence electron. SE is selenium. Selenium over here on the right. Selenium is in group 16, which means that it has six valence electrons. Okay, so we have hydrogen that has one valence electron, and we have selenium that has six valence electrons. So let's just figure out how many electrons we should have on our diagram. So given that we have one selenium atom and two hydrogen atoms making up our molecule, so we should have one selenium and two hydrogen in our molecule. So that's one set of six valence electrons and two sets of one valence electrons. That's a total of eight valence electrons in our molecule. So we can fill that in on our table. We should have eight valence electrons in total. So let's have a look at our diagram now. We're going to count the number of valence electrons. So we have a double bond here. Remember, each single bond represents two electrons. So this double bond represents four electrons so far. Then we have another double bond here that represents four electrons. So that's a running total of eight electrons. And if we have a look at our diagram, we don't have any lone pairs of electrons drawn here. So we only have electrons that are in covalent bonds. And so we have a total of eight electrons. So we can fill that in on our table. And we can see the number of electrons shown on the diagram is the same as the number of electrons required from one selenium and two hydrogen atoms. So this looks good. Our next step is to look at each of our atoms individually to make sure they are obeying the octet rule. Let's start with selenium. Here's our selenium atom. Selenium needs eight electrons in order to obey the octet rule. So let's count how many electrons we have. We've got a double covalent bond here. Remember, each single represents two electrons, so a double represents four. So we've got four electrons so far, and we have another double covalent bond here so we add another four electrons for a running total of eight electrons. So we've got eight electrons total for selenium, which is good because that's the number we should have to obey our octet rule. So selenium atom is looking good. Lastly, let's look at our hydrogen atoms. So hydrogen atom one first. Here we have one double bond. Remember, each single bond represents two electrons, so a double bond represents four. So we have four electrons. And that's all we have on our hydrogen. So we have four valence electrons shown on hydrogen atom one on our diagram. However, the number of valence electrons required for hydrogen, according to the octet rule, is only two, since that very first energy level can only fit two electrons. So we should only actually have two electrons in our valence shell for hydrogen. So this part is not correct. We have the same thing for our other hydrogen atom hydrogen 2. We've got a double bond, which represents four electrons. But we only need two in our valence shell for hydrogen, according to the octet rule. So this isn't good. So even though we had the correct number of electrons overall in our molecule, and even though selenium had the right number of valence electrons, the hydrogens don't, and therefore this diagram is incorrect. So it's really important that we check all of those things, so every single atom making sure they obey the octet rule, and checking that the entire molecule has the correct number of valence electrons that are provided by our atoms individually. All of those things need to be correct in order for our Lewis diagram to be correct.